Hello everyone, uh, long time. Uh, so today I received uh, the CB2 uh, board version 1 from B3 Tech. Um, they asked me to to do a video about how to install a clipper and the firmware on the uh, board. And I have here my Manta 8P. I um, uninstalled the uh, CB1. Uh, and so I'm going to install the CB2 on the board and then we'll go through the uh, installation the Clipper OS on the uh, uh, SD card and then we actually going to install the um, everything on the EMMC um, onboard memory okay that's one of the um, newer things that the CB2 uh, brings to um, to the board okay we'll we'll talk about even what what changed and uh, how the cb2 has improved and we'll see uh, the process of installation of the clipper and the firmware and probably uh, even the um, the two interfaces uh, for the clipper okay so let's do the installation first uh, a small unboxing it's always cool to have the wi-fi uh, antenna a little sticker okay and this is the board I'm always amazed at how small they are so let's uh, open up uh, the bag and, and here is the uh, board the actual board okay uh, so compared to the uh, older CB1 you can tell right away uh, there are some changes okay uh, I guess this the CPU <coughs> it's much uh, bigger layout is different the Wi-Fi here uh, pretty much the same uh, I think Wi-Fi now is uh, 433 megabit per second but the uh, Ethernet uh, went to one uh, gigabit I think the older one the CB1 was a hundred megabit so let's do the installation and then we'll go through everything else okay so the board needs to install <coughs> like this there are the pins let me see if you're uh, let me move this guys okay if you see there are the pins in the, in the back um, if you notice they're a bit offset to the left so you won't miss how to install oops sorry you'll miss how to install uh, this guy okay uh, okay so you feel it to the uh, clip now I wanted to see if I can install this uh, uh, heat sink uh, I need to remove uh, the uh, this because it's a bit old I need to find the new new uh, new one okay and let me see if I if it fits because it's a bit different layout and maybe uh, it won't work as yeah uh, yeah, they think it's not uh, going to work, I think. Yeah, well, doesn't matter. Um, I will figure out this uh, later on. Okay, so we'll do the, done the installation, the hardware installation. Now I will use uh, USB to power the board and Ethernet to connect uh, to the internet, of course. Um, if you remember my previous video, I did everything, the whole installation without powering the board. And that's you can do it because uh, there is a, a pin here, a jumper that you can uh, put in so that you can power via USB the board. And you can do the installation, debugging, and configuration, all that stuff on the uh, CB2 uh, this time. Okay? So you don't require to have the power. Uh, from a power source, but you can use a USB. So usually I use the um, 
USB power supply that I use for uh, a Raspberry Pi and it should be enough okay then I will, I will download the, the clipper on the uh, SD card so I will burn the SD card with clipper OS you can find it on the um, B3Tech uh, GitHub uh, there is version 1.0.5 uh, they are the latest one I'm going to install that and then I uh, will uh, do the process of the installation of the OS on the EMC uh, EM, EMMC and then uh, we'll go through the connection and the burning on the firmware and all that stuff okay like like a previous video I've done with the CB1 so see you in a bit start the record so uh, let's install the uh, clipper OS on the uh, SD card and the version I downloaded is the version uh, 1.0.5 from the GitHub of B3Tech for the CB2. Um, so let's uh, get the here. This is the Debian, okay? And then let's select the 32 gigabyte uh, uh, SD card, okay? Make sure you select the right one. Select, and then you flash, okay? And we'll start to flash, it will take a Need privilege access to. Okay. Of course, it wants to have the password. Anyway, so it will uh, uh, flash the uh, CB2 uh, image to the SD card. Uh, it will take a while. Um, after that, you will uh, power up the board with the uh, USB, or if you have uh, power on the uh, on the power um, pins, that's fine too. I, I usually do this uh, via USB so that I can do uh, debugging and all that stuff and development, I can change a bunch of things. Um, anyway, I'll... Uh, I'll install the uh, SD card and then from the SD card that will copy the OS on the EMMC uh, memory on the CB2. This is one uh, a newer feature that uh, the CB2, the Vitritex CB2 has, which is great because uh, SD cards are, are reliable. Uh, more you record on it, uh, and more you have the chance of uh, ruining uh, um, the SD card. Okay, so uh, M uh, EMMC memory is much better. So we'll go through that, and then after that we'll do um, we'll uh, uh, make the uh, firmware. We'll compile the firmware. Uh, we'll flush the firmware. We'll connect the uh, clipper uh, to the uh, M8P uh, CPU. Uh, we'll figure out the uh, device uh, uh, serial uh, ID and uh, we'll flash the firmware on that, on the CPU. Okay? And then we'll uh, log in inside the, the uh, interface, uh, Clipper interface, and we'll figure out from there to change the um, configuration file with the uh, um, appropriate uh, uh, serial ID so that uh, when you connect to the board, it will connect uh, to the correct uh, ID, okay? With the configuration file, of course. Uh, okay, so we'll take a bit more. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as it's done and uh, we'll do the login inside uh, the Clipper OS and then we'll go from there, okay? So, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so, uh, you burn Clipper to the SD card 
the micro SD card. Um, so we've done that, and now we inserted uh, I inserted the uh, SD card uh, in the Manta M8P board underneath uh, the CB2. Okay, so you have two cards. One card is the Clipper OS, and the other card is the uh, firmware for the uh, Manta. Okay. So now you need to power up the board. And as I showed you, I power the board via USB. In the meantime, I'm doing uh, configuration and things on the OS. And then I connect it instead of uh, via Wi-Fi, I connect it via uh, Ethernet, okay? It's much more uh, simpler. As we said, the CB2 uh, supports uh, uh, the micro SD, but it has EMMC on board, so it has memory on board. So we will uh, clone the OS from the SD card to the EMC, uh, EMMC, okay? <coughs> so I figure out which IP address has my, uh, my board, and I used a software called um, angry IP scanner, but you can figure out uh, with other software. Uh, so we do SSH, SSH into uh, BQ user at uh, 192.168.3.101. That, that's what my router assigned as IP address to the uh, to the board, okay? They ask me for the password, which is BQ, B-I-Q-U, and we are in. So this means that uh, the installation of the uh, Clipper OS uh, on the SD card work, okay? You can see here that we are using 15% of the, my SD card was 32 gigabyte, okay? You know, send the IP address, uptime 33 minutes, uh, memory usage, temperature. Okay. Um, fortunately, I couldn't mount the, uh, the heat sink. I need to figure out that. <coughs> Excuse me. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, so we are in. So what we want to do is writing uh, the system on the EMMC using the, uh, the micro SD card. And to do that, there is a command. By the way, you, you find all the instruction in the uh, manual of the CB2, okay? So sudo nand sara dash install, okay? Let me check if I'm correct, yes. Now ask me for the password, B I Q U enter. Now it pop up uh, this uh, uh, this menu. So you need to select uh, number two. So you want to boot from the EMC system and then select OK. Okay. I select OK. Descriptive letter is EMCC. Continue. Yes, of course. Uh, I don't have anything, but uh, if you do it. Uh, other times, you have to be careful about this. I say yes. And then it says, uh, uh, which uh, selected file system. Okay, we want to uh, get the option number one. And we say, okay. And it's formatting. Okay. And you have to wait for the process to format the, uh, the EMMC memory now when it's done it will take a bit when it's done uh, this guy um, it will appear prompted to whatever you want to uh, power off and you want to select it to power off and shut down the system okay so at that point when you, everything is shut down the system is powered down 
you disconnect the power supply, you remove the SD card, the one that you installed the uh, Clipper OS, you remove that, and then you reconnect the power. And now the system should now boot from the EMMC. Basically, you clone the operating system from the memory card to the onboard memory on the CB2, okay? This is what we are trying to achieve. I've never done this before. I read the manual, should be uh, straightforward. Until now, there are no issue. Um, uh, uh, before I uh, logged in, and I was looking for uh, the IP address that tried to log in, but I had a problem with the uh, IP address because it was already assigned to another uh, hardware. Um, so it couldn't use that IP address. And I removed the uh, line in the SSH known uh, hosts file. This is I'm on my Mac, maybe on Windows it's different. You basically remove, you have to remove the known host uh, line where there is that IP address, if you encounter that issue. Otherwise, you're good to go. And that's because it, you're using SSH to uh, log in inside uh, the board, okay? I don't know how long it will take the, this uh, to, to do the uh, installation, uh, okay, transfer roots uh, file system to dev, uh, okay, and it's four gigabyte, clean up, almost done, looks pretty fast. Now, okay, we're getting to the EMC install, all done, power off. Okay, one thing I want to mention, why we're doing this? Well, the CB2 has onboard memory, it's much more reliable and faster than a power, uh, the SD card, okay, micro SD card. They always get corrupted, these uh, cards, so it's much better and more reliable and faster to have uh, this way, okay? What we want to select is power off, we power off, okay? So the board is powering off, um, okay? I see the lights, uh, the LED goes off, I power off everything, okay? And now I remove the SD card, from the board, okay? Let me see if this is guy. Um, yeah, I got, so. Sorry, I have a problem with the cable. Okay, let me see. Yeah. Okay, so, by the way, the SD card is the one that is on the uh, longer base of the board, okay? I had a 32 gigabyte, uh, gigabyte uh, SD card. So you remove that, and now you wanna power on again the board. Now, what should happen, uh, let, me, let me clear here, what should happen is that we can log in inside the CB2 uh, Clipper OS on the EMMC memory on the board, okay? So I see a green light, so hopefully is everything okay? And let's check it out, okay? We do SSH, B-I-Q-U, at, at, uh, 192.168.3.101 enter and let's see if everything is okay maybe assign a different IP now uh, maybe assign a different IP so let me see if I can search for a different IP I have a bunch of hardware around that uh, yeah it time out okay let me see if I if the router assigned a different IP because I powered off of course since it's Linux 
you can then go inside and make it uh, a static ID instead of the, 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 um, the router assigning each time a different ID. Yeah, it assigns a different IP, one or two. Okay, so let's go to one or two. Hopefully it's not uh, used. Okay, it's not used. We say the fingerprint, we, we wanna save it. Okay, warning permanency, okay. EIQ is the password and let's see if we are in. Yeah, we are in. Okay. And looks good, right? Yeah. Okay, so now what we want to do is to compile the firmware and then transfer that firmware to the uh, to the SD card or to uh, burn it directly to the uh, CPU of the board. Okay, so let me do that. Okay, so we installed um, Clipper on the EMMC memory. Okay, now. We need to, let me get back in first, SSH, BQ. Actually, no, I'm in, I'm already in. Okay. I had too many windows open. Anyway, so now what we want to do is to configure uh, the operating system to compile uh, the, the firmware for the specific board. So this part is different from board to board. I have a Manta M8P. So you need to find the manual of your own board uh, to install it. And mine is uh, um, the Manta 8P version one or 1.1 user manual and the chapter is 6.2. So we are in the Clipper directory and then we say make uh, menu config. Okay, and this window will appear. And this window, you need to enable low level configuration. That means you can configure for a specific board. Uh, and if you see, there are a bunch of uh, uh, oper um, CPUs. Okay, uh, for me, it's the SMT Microelectronics and SM, um, STM32. Okay, great. Then I go back and uh, the processor is the, uh, for me, is the STM32G0V1. Uh, okay, I got it. The bootloader uh, offset uh, is AKB bootloader. Okay, for you, it's going to be different if you have different ports. Okay, copy reference uh, 8 megahertz. System communication DSP. Okay, great. So I quit from the here. Uh, it might ask you to save it. You do save it. And then at this point, okay, I, instead of doing uh, manually, I figure out the, uh, the ID, the US, uh, the serial, uh, interface uh, by US, by ID, okay, to get it, the unique ID uh, for the USB. Okay, so ls dev, this is the command, and then you do serial slash by dash ID, okay? And you enter, and you get this ID. You might have a different one, okay? So note this ID, okay? And at this point, uh, we are still in Clipper directory, which is good. So let's just make sure that we are in the clip, uh, Clipper. Okay. Yes, we are. We do NLS LA just to check. Everything's okay. Okay. And then we do the following command. We are going to flash, compile it and flash the firmware on the uh, CPU of the board, okay? So you do make, flash, and then 
capital flash underscore device equal dot ethereal dash uh, flash uh, by hash ID flash and we copied that uh, ID that we figured out before and then we say enter and this should compile the firmware and install the firmware on the uh, CPU if everything goes well okay now the configuration that I showed you before with the uh, make menu config is important because it will configure this compilation for the specific OS that you have in my case it's the Manta M8P okay and basically will do automatically the flashing for you instead of doing you manually compiling the firmware copy to the SD card and then uh, flash it from there okay so and so if you see here e compile clipper bin okay so it's asking me to put the password which is b i q u enter and it's uh, doing the flashing okay so now if you notice uh, let me see if you notice there are some errors but this one is the one that you're looking for so if it does this the file downloaded successfully that means it, it flashed now these other errors i'm not sure what they are um i have to ask and it should be all set so now let's go to the uh, browser uh, where do i have the browser down here and let's go to the browser let me put you the browser here so they can see okay it should be good and then we do uh, http okay i already have it here you enter and you're in okay there are some some errors because i didn't uh, create this configuration and bunch of other stuff console okay history good and everything's updated okay should be it should be everything good firmware restart we'll do this just to play with it and that's it so basically we we did uh, everything is we 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 needed to do so we installed the uh, cb2 uh, board on the manta m8p we first flash the sd card uh, with the latest uh, uh, Clipper OS from the B3 Tech uh, GitHub for the CB2, of course. I, I took the uh, full version, okay? And then we clone that, uh, that OS from the SD card to the uh, EMMC uh, memory, Remove, uh, reboot it, actually shut it down, remove the SD card, uh, and then turn on the board and you are into the Clipper OS uh, on the EMMC uh, memory on the CB2, which is great. And this is good because uh, SD cards get corrupted all the time. And so it's much more reliable uh, with the, using the, this uh, CB2, okay? You can check the uh, PDF that they have it on the GitHub with all the specific configurations that they have for this uh, uh, new uh, solution um, and depending on which board you have you might have access to it or not so it's up to you which one is for your uh, 3d printer okay so after we've done that we uh, configure uh, the compilation for the specific board that, that i have in my case, the Manta M8P, 
uh, the manual is on chapter 6.2 those configurations so if you have a different board you need to figure out uh, that board configuration so go to your manual uh, and we uh, make uh, we compile the, the clipper uh, by first uh, uh, figuring out the serial uh, interface, USB interface uh, to Clipper by ID. We copy that, uh, that ID and we flash, we, we use the command make flash to compile the firmware and flash it to the CPU of the board. That's the, that's the old process from installation of the board to the compilation of the firmware to the Manta board. I think it's uh, everything. Um, from now on is uh, mainly configuration. So for example, if you want to go to the printer, you need to configure this serial and the interface here is the one that I used befo uh, before so it's this guy okay actually it's everything okay it's not only that sorry let me copy the entire line there it is okay so it's all this okay so when you connect the uh, your configurations it needs to use this this uh, ID okay so we save it and we start it okay yeah it's, it's because it's looking for this file but we're using a different file anyway everything is okay here you can update it to the latest and greatest uh, and that's it hopefully I, it was clear uh, I'm sorry, but it was the first time that I installed it on the CD2 and so there were a few things uh, that are uh, different from the CD1 and CD2 is much more uh, reliable because it has uh, the memory on board, uh, the EMMC and plus it's more powerful, it has a 1 gigabit interface and a bunch of other things so check out the manual uh, and that's it so please uh, leave a like and subscribe to the channel, turn on notification, share it. And if you have any question, please leave it in the uh, comment section. I'll try to answer or if I can't, I will figure out to, how to connect with the uh, Bitri Tech. Uh, I'm sure they are willing to answer any questions. Uh, thank you to Bitri Tech again for uh, sending me this uh, CB2 board so I can uh, play with it and I will use it for sure on my um, custom 3D printer. Uh, since it's much more powerful, I'm looking forward to it. So I'll see you on next video. Bye bye.